So this is problem number three. A pump with a 400 millimeter diameter suction. Ayan na. Ilista natin kagad. Ay mga given niya. So at suction, okay? 400 millimeter diameter suction pipe. So the diameter at suction is 400 millimeter and 850 millimeter diameter discharge pipe. So ano ibig sabihin niyan? Diba sir, ang turo mo sa amin, kapag naka millimeter, you convert it ng agad into meter. Ay mamaya, convert natin. And the pipe is to deliver 20,000 liters per minute LPM of 15.6 degree water. Calculate the pump head in meters if suction gauge. O, oh, naka-suction gauge siya. 7.5 cm below the pump center line. And what? Uh, ha, ha, ha. Ayun, 127 millimeter HD vacuum. And discharge gauge is 45 cm above the pump center line. And reads 175 kPa. Sir, madali yan. Drawing natin. Ah, mas gusto ko din na drawing. Wala ako na reference dito. Yeah. Wait ah. Let me just uh, encircle this para madali. Para madali siya i-drawing. Control C. Okay, dito tayo. Mas ang ganda kasi din na drawing mo siya eh. Control B. Ayan. Okay, and then let us uh, bura-bura ito. Let us make this bura-bura. Okay. Mayroon na tayo maglagay dyan ng notation. Ayan. Yan, so we have that, ano, lagay natin dito yung kanyang notation. So at suction muna tayo sa suction. <clears throat> 400 millimeter diameter. So the diameter at suction, diameter at suction is 0 0.4 meters. Ano yung pressure at suction daw dyan? Uh, reads 127 millimeter vacuum. So kapag vacuum negative, the pressure at suction is uh, negative, 127 millimeter Hg, kasi vacuum nga. And then, uh, this is placed 7.5 centimeter below pump center line. So, gawin na na agad natin siyang meter kasi ang base uh, calculation natin is in meter. So, uh, 7.5, yung JS mo is equal to 7.5 divided by 100 meters. Ayan na. Meter na agad. And then, yung capacity ng pump mo is uh, Q is uh, 20,000 uh, liters per minute. And then, uh, dito nasa, ilan siya? 45 cm. Okay? Your uh, ZD is 45 divided by 100 meters. And then, the uh, Pressure reads at 175. Okay, normal yan. 175 kPa. Discharge. Okay. And then the discharge size is at 350 divided by 1000. So that is 0 0.35 meters. Okay. Now, we can solve for the head net. Laging ganun tayo magisimula. Solve for <coughs> net head. Eh, pakita ko na sa inyo yung calculation na gamit yung shortcut natin. Wala naman binigay dito na uh, efficiency of the pump. So, we can proceed. Head net. H net. Is equal to pressure head plus the velocity head plus the uh, elevation head plus the head losses. And since wala naman dito binigay na head losses, we can cancel out yung head losses. We now have to Ano, list down natin. Paano natin makukuha pala yung velocity? Okay, ito ang wala tayo. 
'Di ba tinuro mo 'yan, sir? Yes, tinuro ko 'yan. Ito yung formula for velocity, 'di ba? 4q over pi d squared pa ulit-ulit 'yan. Okay? Ito 'yon, no? Ito parati yung dapat mong tandaan at hindi mo dapat kalimutan. Ito, this one. Itong bubuhay sa'yo dyan. Para dire-diretso ang inyong calculation. So, let us go with the head, head net. So, PD minus PS over gamma, that is water, plus yung VD squared minus VS squared over 2G plus ZD minus ZS. Okay, ang condition dito, oh, ito is nasa below ng pump center line, so that is additive. Negative, mi minus negative, that is positive, okay? So, magsimula tayo sa PD tsaka PS. <clears throat> you are given 175 kPa, kilonewton per uh, meter squared, minus, okay, negative, 127, kaya lang naka MMHG, you have to convert it first, times 101.325 kPa over, ano yan, 760 mmHg, yung kanyang conversion factor, and then divide it with 9.81 kN per cubic meter, para lumabas meter, plus, ay, ay na, Plus VD minus V. Ito muna, unahin ko to ZD minus ZS. So, that is uh, 45 minus, minus. Okay? Wait lang ha, ayusin ko lang. So, that is 0.45 minus, <clears throat> minus, negative. Below the pump center line eh. 0.075. And meters plus, okay, dito na, magkakatalo na tayo, kunin mo itong equation na to Okay, that is yung VD muna. Ang size ng VD mo, 4Q, convert na natin si Q, okay? Q is 20,000 uh, liters per minute. Kailangan natin dito is in cubic meter per second. So, that is... Yan, para kita ko yung nasa baba. 20,000 liters. 1 <clears throat> cubic meter is 1,000 liters. And then, 1 uh, minute, 60 seconds. So, liliit yung Q mo. So, 20,000 uh, divided by 60,000. That is one third. Lagi ko na lang dito, one third ha. One third cubic meter per second. So, liitan natin, lakihan natin to. That is Q. Paulit-ulit lang yan. So, uh, one over three cubic meter per second. Four Q over pi. At suction is 0.4 meters squared. Square mo. Okay. Followed by yung minus. 4, uh, one third meter cube every second. Okay, over pi, tapos 0.35 meters squared. And then, square mo sa labas. Divided mo ng 2 times 9.81 meter per second squared. All of the units, ang lalabas dyan, all in all, will be? What will be meters? So, let us solve. Sir, kaya ba yan ng isahan? Try natin. Try natin. Isa ang solving. So, 175. Minus, minus. Add mo na kagad. Uh, 127. Para isa. 127. Dapat alam mo, alam mo i-ano eh. Kukonserve yung space sa calculator mo. Multiplied to 101.325. <coughs> Divided by 
divided by 9.81. plus uh, 0.45 plus 0.075 maging additive na yon plus tingnan natin kung kakasya ha uh, 4 4 times 1 third edi 4 thirds para mabawasan natin 4 over 3 Yan. 4 over 3 divided by ayun pala mali pala ako ah, 4 over 3 over pi times 0.4 squared tapos square ko din sa labas minus <coughs> ayan putol na pala hindi na kaya Unay na natin yung first part. Yan. So, that is 20. Recall natin kay A. At nalan natin dito si A, ah. <clears throat> So, that is uh, 4 times 1 over 3. Four times 1 over 3. pi times 0.4 square natin and then square mo rin yung labas minus ulitin mo lang to 4 <coughs> times uh, 1 over 3 tapos shift pi times 0.35 squared square mo pa rin sa labas over 2 times 9.81. Okay? Tapos, i-add mo na lang si na una. Okay, that is uh, 19.83. The head total. Check nyo nga kung tama. <clears throat> okay. 19.83. That is 19.837 meters. Okay. Check natin. 175. Okay. 9.81. Okay. 2G. Okay. 2G. Okay. I think that is uh, correct. Tapos, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Ano ba hiningi dito in HP ba? The pump head in meters. Head lang pala. Ayan. The pump head. Ayan. That is the uh, solving ng pump head niya. Mahaba lang talaga. Mahaba lang yung calculation niya. Sir, meron pa bang ibang paraan dyan? Yes, pwede mo isolve si velocity. Okay? Mare, solve mo muna si velocity. Gagawin mo siyang A and B. So, solve mo muna si velocity. Unay mo siyempre si yung malaki sa suction. So, 4 times 1 over 3 over uh, pi times uh, point, uh, ilan yan? 0.4 squared. Okay? Store mo yung value nyo kay letter B. Tapos yung sa discharge, uh, sa suction, hindi, suction pala yun. Tama ba? Answer. Ayan. Store natin siya kay A. Yung suction. And then yung discharge will be parang may mali ako dun. Ha? Baliktad yung nagawa ko. Kaya pala mali. Okay. okay pa Kaya pala mali. May baliktad ako nagawa dito. Mauna muna si discharge bago kay suction. Ayan. Dito. Mauna muna si discharge ba? Okay, suction. Yun ang mali ko. Okay. Napansin ko na. By resolving. Resolve natin. That is uh, 0 0.35 tapos dito 0 0.4. Kaya dapat malaki yung value nito. Yan. 
So, solve ko muna. 75 plus 75 plus 127 times uh, 101.325 divided by uh, 760 divided by 9.81 add ko na yung dalawa plus 0.45 plus minus minus maging plus 0 0.075 and <clears throat> yon dun pala so that is letter A may, may mali lang ako ng pindot nung una tapos nagkabaligtad tong dalawa so gawin natin si A okay so uh, 4 times 1 third 1 over 1 over 3 May naka-store na sa A, ha? tandaan nyo. Shift, pi, times 0.35, that is discharge, squared. Okay. Store natin siya kay B. And then, let us store yung isa kay C, that is 0.4. Yan. So, store natin to kay letter C. Now, we solve for the values. Okay. So, alpha A, plus alpha b square natin minus alpha c squared kasi velocity lang naman kinuha natin times 2 times 9.81 so the answer is 10.15 hindi hindi siya 19 10.15 nagkamali lang ako ng pindot that is 10.15 meters okay that is problem number 2 10.15 meters of H2O. Sir, paano kapag kinukuha naman yung power? Tuloy natin sa power. Yan. Gamitin natin yung conventional or yung ano, dinerive. In derive tayo. So, in HP, kung wari in HP kinukuha, the pump power. <clears throat> that is Q. That is H net over 3960 times efficiency. 1 na kagad yan kasi wala ka naman efficiency. Yung Q, i-convert pa natin yan. So, uh, 20,000 liters per minute. Kailangan to maging gallons per minute. So, ilang liters per gallon? I think 3.785 liters in 1 gallon. Tapos yung sa H net, that is 10.15 meters. Multiply natin ang 3.28 per 1 meter. And then, divide na lang natin ng 3960. Ang lalabas dyan is, ganito yung gagamitin nyo sa board exam, okay? Ganito. Yan yung pinaka-shortcut niya para makuha mo yung pump power. So, 20,000 times uh, 10.15 times 3.785 3.78 ayan nasa baba yung 3.785 times uh, 3960 the pump power will be 44 hp 44.4 42 hp ay that is the pump power for problem number 2